What's going on guys? Today we are taking a look at the Juden Sentai Kyoryuger Please On. This is number nine in the Volt Sword line and he has just been introduced in the show. I got this guy from my good friends at CS Toys. Thank you Mr. S. Thank you very much. And along with the figure they sent along this little cool beast battery. This cool little beast battery is a special beast battery and it's not showing up real well on camera but it's each of the rangers there and then when you brave in it switches to their rangered mode. Very cool. Thank you very much Mr. S. This guy's box is actually pretty darn big. So here's the front. We're going to show you the sides of the box really quickly. This is one side. The back of the box shows you all the different combinations you can get into. Health and safety warnings. And then the other side with uh, Boompaki and Gabutira. So let's open them up and take a look. Right off the bat, you notice that there's going to be a little bit of assembly required for this figure. Assembly of Please On took very little time, just minutes. And to be honest, I think this spaceship mode is freaking rad. This thing is big. I mean, this thing is going to take up an entire section on my shelf and stick right off of it. But it's freaking awesome though you can kind of see a chest right there it is very very big very very cool it does have lights and sounds and thankfully there are no batteries necessary for supplying yourself that is just turn it on under here and open up the mouth brave the in oops push the beast battery in and then there's a little button right here on the landing gear that will allow the whole thing to slide back one thing I have noticed is in here in the mouth, the battery has a tendency to twist. So you do have to be careful about that. So it does have some gimmicks, sounds gimmicks here. You can get a carrier mode going by taking the side thrusters here and folding them out thusly. So you've got this little mode that is with the split open here. And I believe you should be able to put Gabutera up here. Very, very loosely, but it works. Sort of. <laughs> Kyoryujin does fit up there, though not really nicely. Though you can fit a myriad of other figures up there including Optimus Prime. Now the spaceship mode does not change the lights and sounds or gimmicks anymore, unfortunately, but I do like the fact that it transforms into another mode, even if it is just folding out of sections. That is highly appreciated in my book. And plus, either mode, it looks cool. I mean, it's dino mode and space dino mode are both equally very, very cool. To get this vehicle mode into its robot mode, we are going to have to completely disassemble the vehicle mode. To start off with, rip off the dinosaur head. Well, first turn off the lights and sounds, or the sound gimmicks. And just rip off the dinosaur head. Then rip off the side thrusters, put them off to the side. Rip off this middle purple section and split it apart to form the arms. And then uh, just come under here, rip off this black piece and rip off this section here and then you're left with the core. To transform the core, take the back of the core and fold it down and split the legs apart and here we have the body ready to go. Next up, take those thruster pylons that we had earlier and just kind of uh, plop them on the ground like that. And then these will peg into the bottom of the legs to form the feet. Though it's not really totally clear uh, sometimes how to plug it in because there are a bunch of pegs on here and there are a bunch of peg holes on the bottom of the foot. But that's the way you do it right there. Then we turn these down to form the arms. Bring this guy around to form the head. So slide him up and there's the head. Then grab what looks to be the right arm and peg it in like that. And then grab the giant plesiosaur head and peg that in on the other arm. Now you might be wondering, what do we do with the other arm? Well, we have another arm here, so what are we going to do with it? Well, just turn the figure around and it'll attach right to his backpack. So we just uh, kind of plug it in right to his backpack here. Like that. That's it. 
And here we have Please On in robot mode. And I gotta say, I really like this robot mode. It just works for me. The purple, the black, the little yellow bits, the white, just works really, really well. Overall, it is a really nice looking robot mode. Now you may be wondering, can you just pull the arm off and give him a second real arm? Yes, yes you can. Just pull that off and pop on his other arm. And you've got a please on with two real arms. Kind of looks like fours on, or Kamen Rider fours in all honesty, or a form of his. Just love that option. Love, love that option, the fact that you can do that. So we'll put the, pull that off and put that back on his backpack. So with the arm back on his backpack, what does please on here have to say for himself? Those are just some of the sounds. Here are some more. We're going to uh, use the gun here. As you can hear, the sounds are a little bit bonkers. So let's go ahead and give this guy a size comparison. How does he size up against Kyoryujin? He's actually just a hair bigger. Uh, his head is almost in the same place, but as the overall height of the figure, he is definitely uh, taller than Kyoryujin. Now, there is another thing we can do with uh, Plezo here, and that is combine him with some other beasts like Terra Godon before him, unfortunately his sound gimmick is not actually in the chest. It's in the missile arm or the uh, Plezo head compartment. And so when you go to attach the other beasts to his robot mode, you're not gonna get any sounds, unfortunately. But as you can see, he fits just about any of the other beasts just fine. For the last formation, we are going to need to completely disassemble Plezo and disassemble Kyoryujin. For Kyoryujin, for what we're going to do with him, we're just going to fold up the head and then turn it so the dinosaur or Gabutera head is pointing forward. Then we are going to take this white piece. Now I haven't shown this yet. This came with Plezo. Just, it's just this white piece. It does nothing except in this mode. So what we need to do is actually take it and slide it right over Kyori or Gabutera's hips right there. And this will stabilize the whole mode. And they're, it's important, believe me. Next, we're gonna take the thrusters that formed the feet of Plezo and attach them to the bottom of Gabutera, like this. Yes, he does get shoes. Like so. So the first thing we're going to do with Plezo's body is take the arms and fold them such that the thrusters are pointing towards the chest plate and the connectors are pointing towards the back. Then turn the figure around and fold out these connector ports on both legs, on the back of both legs, and then fold up the legs until they snap into place right where my uh, middle finger is right here, like that. Then take the whole figure and turn it so that the thruster bits, the connector ports are pointed down and the arms are pointed out to the side where the connector ports are. And then you've got this hole right here. Take your original Plezo head and turn it around where the yellow part is and plug that into what is effectively the lower abdomen of Plezo. Next, we're gonna saddle up this whole space section and it is going to drop right down onto the head, which I folded up earlier, but you actually want to keep it fold it up because the connector port inside is right there and that plugs into Kyoryujin's head. So I'll just drop it down and plug it in. And there we go. Now remember that white piece that we were talking about earlier, this piece down here? If this wasn't here, this whole thing would be flopping like crazy. Next, we'll take the fists sections that we had and they will actually peg into these thruster bits right here. Now this is a little weird because we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the purple is pointing forward, not the fist. So we will connect that 
like so, and then bring it straight down and it is supposed to connect into Gabutera, but you have to fold a little piece out. So there's a little piece in here. We gotta fold out first, connect, and then peg it in. So do the same thing on the other side. Fold that connector piece out, connect it to the body, and peg it into Gabutera, like so. Now remember that black piece that we were talking about earlier? This forms the rear landing gear of the shuttle mode. This will actually form kind of a crotch plate, if you will, and it pegs right up in here underneath Gabotera's head. It just pegs in there and it forms kind of a little front skirt guard. Next, we can attach the Pliso head and Bunpaki. Finally, flip open the head. Rocket Kyoryuger is bonkers, and I love it. It is so stupid. But it is stupid and dumb in the best of ways. This is something that I have been missing from Super Sentai for years, is that just that complete cluster F of a combination from different mecha. It's so crazy and stupid and I love it. I absolutely love this. This is just so silly. I mean, you've got three, you've got, what is it? Effectively a dinosaur spaceship, a Tyrannosaurus, and a pack a thingy dermosaurus with that giant mace hammer flail. <laughs> this is so dumb, but it's wonderful. It's that kind of dumb that just works. And let's see if we could get a, there we go. Now it's even better. Size comparison wise, here is the US version of Goze Ground, or Great Goze Ground and comparing him to Rocket Kyoryuger, or Kyoryujin. If this were the Japanese version, they would be almost the same size. This guy's really tiny. And here's the obligatory MP10 prime size comparison. If you're going to ask what the posability is, well, that's all you're getting with the arms. That's it, but I don't care. This thing's just crazy and I love it. If I had to launch a complaint against the figure, it would be the head. I don't care for the head all that much. I get what they were going for. They're going for kind of like the three-toed step of a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the crest and all this going on with the head. But otherwise, he can't see. That That's kind of useful in battle, you know, being able to see. The other thing I don't like, screw hole. Random screw hole at the top of the crest of his head. I don't like that at all. Otherwise... This is a pretty awesome combination. Overall, Plezo is a fantastic addition to the Kyoryuger line. Just, he's a bottle of insanity and fun. It is, without a doubt, one of the best figures in the line, and I highly recommend getting a hold of him. I don't care what you guys have to do. You need to get this guy, especially if you like Kyoryujin and um, Paragoldon. He is a fantastic addition to the group. I think he's actually a lot better than Paragodon, but Paragodon has his own issues, but he's his own figure. So guys, this has been Bolt Matrix for the video review of Please On. And I'm going to tell you right now, you guys need to get this one. I'll catch you next time.